Oh, and a happy Monday. It was being weird, so that's why there was a little delay thing there. But I'm also trying to start this thing, like, you know, right at 10 and get right into everything so I can say, hello, hello, Artie friends. How are you doing? We're going to be making ATCs today, and that's the artist trading coins, I think. I don't know. We might end up making some regular trading cards as well, just, you know, the old, you know, rectangle. I, I like the rectangles myself. Okay, well, we can ask everybody here in the chat. Um, do say hello. Otherwise, I do not know that you were here. We like to know that you're here because we are a friendly bunch. And I just like to say hello and, you know, makes the chat go nicely and this, that, and the other. Give us your pinky hello hands and then I will say hello. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe. Do all that YouTube -y business that you do. Hit that bell. Sometimes it'll notify you when we're going live and things. If you're unsure about that, you can go over to our website and, you know, if you sign up for our little newsletter thing, <laughs> it'll let you know too. We got all kinds of ways. Let y'all know. We want you to be part of this group. All right. Let's do the hellos. Hello, hello, hello. We've got our Curious by MNW. That is Miriam, Barbara Cabrera, Becky, Betsy, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. I believe you are new. Carol. I think you are a new Carol. Maybe. A new Carol? A new Carol. Darcy, Eddie, Erna, Griffin, Shell, that's Rhonda, Jennifer, Carla, Kathy, Ketra, the kitty is here, Bentley, Lexi, <laughs> Life at the Corner Castle, uh, Life at the Corner Castle, let me know who you are, because I didn't see it yesterday in the chat, and that was just probably, maybe, I, I just, unless you don't want me to know, then we just call you Life at the Corner Castle, Lygia, Lydia, Margie, Marguerite, and Margie, I've got an email coming your way, I just need to write it up. Uh, Panka, Robin, S-A-G, that's Sarah, Sherry, Black Dog Designs, that's Sherry, <laughs> Susan Anderson, Susan Billu, the Shelly Studio, that is Margul, Tina Schwanberg, Veranda, ah, uh, the treats are being, yes, he came a-running, all right, thank goodness, because he was the about The cat to... works for food. He does. Uh, okay, and Kathy Seek, did I say hello? Yes, thumbsy upsies, y'all, thumbsy upsies, hello, Tina Schwanberg, if I didn't say hello already. Sometimes I forget because I go through the list and it's like just an autopilot thing. Debbie. I'm writing that down because I, I, um, a second here. Do, do, do. There's my pen. See, if I write it down, then I'm <coughs> more likely to remember. But it might take me a couple times. I know you said you were from Texas and you placed an order, so wonderful. And we're from, where? I guess maybe. If you want to tell us where, what, yes. what their parts of Texas you were from. Where are you from? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get to this because we got lots to do. Hello, Ellen and uh, P. Are you all in and looking at chat? Because that's your job today, remember? Well, you were handling it really nice, so I, I took that <laughs> opportunity to make a little backing for one of my tags. She's got some new tags because uh -huh. somebody sent. Um, who was it that sent the email? Uh, I just totally blanked on me. Lygia. Lygia. Because she's a big Edgar Allan Poe fan. That's right. So Lygia sent her some very well, fabulous uh, ones. And uh, she's like, well, I have to make tags for some I, of these. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, she's originally from Louisiana. She's a Cajun, married to a Texan. Oh. And she's in Houston. Well, okay. she's right across the line. Yeah, it's all the same difference. All the same difference. Yes. Okay, let's go topside and get these, these, uh, ATC's going. Uh, are y'all in for coins or regular? Or maybe we can do both. It's not like, you know, I can't cut some circles and some squares. Squares are easier. Or rectangles, you know. Let's go top side. All right. Hey, Gerald just gave pink hands. Did you hello, say Gerald. Your job is to say hello to people. Oh, okay. Now, I, my job. Hi, Gerald. I saw your pink hands. And this is Gerald with a G. This we is, have a Gerald with a J and a Gerald with a G. This is Gerald with a G. Yes. This is Gerald. Gerald McDowell. Yes. I don't know if y'all like us to say your last names or not. I figure if you show up and you, you know. It's printed on there and I can I know. read it. Yeah, it's public information at that point. I think if they don't want to be public, you just don't. You just hang out in the background and give those thumbs up. Use their nom de plume. Yes, or yeah, your handle. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to go with a little half sheet, because uh, last time we did a big one, and okay, I don't think we have to do real that. Real quick question. Did, Be did Becky send you a template, yes, Mariah? Yes, she did. She did? Yes. Good. 
Uh, right now, our machines are cutting orders. So, you know. Griffin Shale says that tissue paper glows. <laughs> it does. It sort of does. And here, look. You and can hey, even we've see, got even another glow here. You can see one. the difference in, in my face. See, when I put the white to the green. How oh much it God. reflects. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm always telling her, you know, the things that she's working on and whatever over there. It's always messing with the camera. Okay. True enough. <sighs> Here's the main big decision we have right off the bat. Do we just glue this green, this little green monster down onto our paper as our background? And then just start painting in other things. Thoughts, feelings. Uh, here's my, here's my idea. Uh -huh. Kind of, you know, put that down and then fan your other papers out so you see a little bit of each one. You know, kind of fan them out so that you see each one with that to see if you want that much of that color. I don't understand what you're saying to me. Okay, you, all of your other papers. Mm hmm can you fan them out so that we can see all of them? Well, sort of. Yeah, because the, the edge is mucked oh, up. I'm kind of running out of space here. Wearing another Sandy Franklin um, scarf. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> I love this one. I think this might be my most favorite one. Now, here's the other thing. This one promised you every stream. It's getting hot. So, I don't know if that's completely doable. We may have to take this back up around, you know fall <laughs> I know but I really uh, <clears throat> I told her to, I get to wear that one too because I look good in those colors and it looks good with my one my renaissance hat okay so here's I think what Queen P was trying to yes it was tell me about here this is the color combo hello Inger um yeah I say go ahead and do it what do y'all say Barbara's crocheting. Okay. Patricia loves the shiny paper. Well, what it is is it's Hello, a low Sophia. contrast, you know, tone on tone. Yeah, I think that this is going to work I for a background. Too. I'm happy about that. And then we're going to just kind of put in little bits of all this other business. And sorry, I am sniffly today. My baby has seemed to have given me something because I was sneezy last well, night. Well, she's been out and about. She has been. And then all last week she was exposed to. Yes. Whatever new kids. Yes. We're at A camp. whole new crop. <laughs> A whole new crop of kids. Um, okay. Um, I need a. Can I use this one? <coughs> sure. Okay. Oh, ow. That was kind of pokey. That got me. Dried up paint? What? Yeah. Now, part of me says... Um, oh, there's Julie. There's Betsy. If you if you don't pink hand me, I don't know that you haven't, you know, like not been there. Yeah, or if you can't find the pink hand, the, you know, just regular... Hello, Maria. The, the regular one works, too. Because some people don't know how to find the pink hand. I don't. <laughs> But I just figured everybody was, you know, a little bit smarter more, about this. More note up than you. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to find somebody not. And, you know, just a reminder when you're you're doing this, mm -hmm. what Mariah's doing right now. <clears throat> if you don't don't get it all you can glued come back down on this, you, it, it's really easy to get in there because of the process that you're using. And, and with her little fine nosed glue and squirt a little in there yeah but it is I think it is nice to do it like this because then you can at least start out with most of it yeah this is called the cross hatched uh, technique <laughs> Kathy, see, she's moving. She says she's I know. too old to move. Oh, God, do I not understand what you're saying. I was too old to move six years ago. 
Well, thank it goodness was, she it was, was painful. Had the funds to be able to have people kind of do yes. the harder, you know. But she still did a lot of. I mean, they packed the boxes, didn't you? For the most part. Yes. It was just the large pieces of furniture and stuff that. That's where. I, okay, so these people that we had, they moved us into a, a pod. Oh yeah, because you needed the we container. Didn't have a full full truck, right? <coughs> Pardon me. So up upstairs was where my studio was, in the in the house we lived in in Anchorage, and it had of course a, a full flight of stairs, but it was a straight on. So what they did is they taped a bunch of boxes together. Hi, Julie Torrens. And they just rolled them down the stairs. <laughs> it was magic. It was like a they know what they, belt. If you watch movers, you learn things. You're like, oh, because they know oh, things. Oh, you've seen that before where they tape the boxes together and just slide them down a street? Oh, yeah. Uh, when we moved in here, it was pretty amazing. Now, most things were coming upstairs versus down, but... They, uh, it was pretty amazing. So they came in, they put down, like, cardboard everywhere because they didn't want to track anything in. And, I mean, they were just at it. It was amazing. And they're all of, like, 20 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Which is helpful. Okay, I need the little water thing because um, I'm going to have some time in between and I don't want this to dry up. Well, I, I didn't repair you. I'll, I'll give you my sort of reasonably clean water. Well, it's perfect. And I will get you a paper towel that you can dampen off your yeah. brush each time. I mean, I should have wiped more of that in there, but that's okay. All right, here you go. I got to get my. Mouse going the right way. We packed tons that had to go to the storage unit. Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah. 34 years. That's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Um. <coughs> Sorry. It's kind of amazing what can happen even in about, you know, six to eight years. Now we've been here ten plus added, you know, these people and their stuff. That's like adding another 20, so it's about 30. Yeah. 30, 40. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, chopper. Or should I just cut this with the scissors? I just cut this with the just scissors. Just cut it with the scissors, because it's not like you got to be uh, yeah. spot on since you're doing round things. <clears throat> oh, and then what did people say? Did they want... Okay, so I'm, I'm going to pause for a second. We're going to really look in the chat. Rectangle or round? Coins are just regular. All right, y'all better vote. I mean, I said coins in the thing, but, you know. Yeah, the first boxes are nice and neat and have paper surrounding them. Yeah, and then you just start. The rest start. of it, you just start taking drawers out and dumping crap in. I understand that. Okay, we have rectangle. Okay. Round. Oh, okay. Rectangle. It's looking rectangle. Regular. Yeah. I think okay, there was a Marsha. She likes coins. Both. <laughs> so, <laughs> why don't you make a row of coins and then okay. the rest rectangles? Okay, let's do that. Because rectangles seem to. Round. There's another round. Uh, SAG says both. Okay. And that'll, that'll take care of both. There we go. Problem solved. And I suggested this. I, Mariah was looking at her screen. I don't know if she heard me or not. It is to um, <clears throat> do a giveaway of all the extra papers at the end. Ooh. She's going to have some. Yeah. I, I made her plenty. Okie dokie. Now, next question is... Would it be more interesting if I went ahead and cut these up into the things and then we just kind of work on two? 
versus doing the whole master board situation or shall I master board this and I'll try to do it as quickly as I can so we can like maybe finish one or two. That's what I'm, because remember I did a lot of that finish work. So remember here's the coins from the last one we did, but I did a ton of this work off camera. And I mean, I spent a good, I actually had some time. So was able to hang out up here with P and then we just kind of chit chatted. And Becky says cut then embellish. Okay. It's I faster. honestly think that that might be a, a better for, way to go. For the camera reasons. And also for uh, variety and interest. Okay. Kind of a little bit different. Um, okay. Then I need the chopper. Yeah. If you want to hand it over. Coming across. Mm, don't. Oh, good God. She's putting it through the middle. Okay. I don't understand. Y'all, that was scary. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Bobby Hadberg wants to know, where can I find your schedule on when you go live? Well, it should be at the top of the page you're on right now if you're here. Yes, and Bobby, uh, so here's a couple of things. So if you're part of Makers, that's the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group, each week, usually on Sunday evening, but if I have not been able to do that, it will happen Monday morning that I put out the links. Everything is scheduled. Then what happens is I post in Makers and I usually try to move that to the front on the featured items, post, featured post. So you can then hit the notify me if you want YouTube to notify you. If you have ordered anything or signed up over on our website, you will get a notification via email as well, unless you unsubscribe. Um, and Nightbot just did another. Yeah, well, Eddie prompted it. Um, so oh, okay. there are multiple ways um, over on our website. If you go to um, the hashtag links, <coughs> uh, I think is oh, I'm using the little scraper thing. He has a mouse. It's like, that's not working. Um, or, or like through Instagram, it, it links it over there. But anyways, there are lots of ways. And then, um, the header of our channel has every stream listed except for the Monday one. Cause I haven't updated it because I wasn't sure that we were going to be doing this like every Monday, but it's been every Monday. It, it has been. It and has. You know. I think Mariah was worried she wasn't going to have have enough interesting things to do. Well, I I was actually less less about that, more about uh I was worried about if I needed to spend time down in the you know doing orders and stuff. So remember the ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and just deal with this white edge because um, I, I just want to get as much as I can out of, the, out of these because I'm assuming, I don't know, if I get three. Nope, not going to get three. So I could have moved that, but that's fine. And of course, I'm not going to get a coin at the end. But there we have two ATCs to deal with there, or uh, regular ATCs. And then let's do some coins. I don't need that. But I do need a little. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we're still talking about moving. Okay, we're just going to kind of go to the edge here. And I like this business there. Dice on your bracelet. Do you have my gold dice bracelet? <laughs> I've been looking for that. I do. Oh, you. D and I goes... have this one. It goes so well with it. But it kind of digs in. Look at that. Yeah, I don't like that. You can keep that one. It does dig into you. But I need my dice bracelet back. It goes with my black and white one. Hmm. That you claimed was yours, but it, it really is isn't. mine. You made it for me. I think that's... Bull cocky? Bull cocky. Hmm. Where's that pen I used the last time? Because it was really wonderful. What is it? The pen. The ballpoint pen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here Clicky it is. pen. That's the one. Thank you. I like it because it... Goes down in it, there. It makes a little it's dent. A, it's yeah, it's a decent point on it. Like a decent point, you know. 
I really kind of wanted that business there, but oh well. We'll do that okay, one. Okay, I'll do it. <clears throat> Okay, Marguerite says, you know, sign uh, and subscribe and get the notification thing. Mm hmm yep. You just need to make sure that you've got as many of those as possible because what you're seeing there, you're going to cover most of it up anyway. What are you saying? So just put them next to each other. Stop, you know, moving them around and wasting. You, she's being bossy. I am. Ooh, I got gooby ink business there. Oh yeah, they won't they won't move anything flammable. You can't just lie about that I did. You did not get the I had my some of those boxes already packed and taped up. There was no way they're gonna know that stuff. Well, when everything catches on fire, yes, they would. We do have a plethora. Thank you, Eddie. A plethora of what? Of, of stencils that can be used for ATCs. Oh, yes. In fact, okay. there's a little round one up here on this rolly roundy cart. Rolly roundy cart. Going with a little bit shorter scissors. I think that's easier to deal with these. people in chat saying? I don't know. I'm busy. Ay, ay, ay. But I just about got her done, so I'll look and just Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. You you know that this is extremely difficult for me. Mm-hmm. Sitting here. I'm watching you do fun things, and all I'm doing is reading. Oh, never mind. She's cutting first. Uh, but, well, you see the cut lines after it's covered. I don't know. Uh, it's not going to really make a difference because it's going to have black on it. Yeah, and see, like, what I did with these. I'm very happy that I have these to kind of, you know, show y'all. I just went and did the little, you know, um, inky business around the edge. So it actually worked out quite well. So anywhere that you might be able to see it, you're really not necessarily going to see it. And I always do some. See, like, I, I did my edges. See, like, some are pink, some are purple, some are red. Some are multicolored. Because that's how I roll. She's also a better cutter than I am. So, okay, there's our do do do. Now, very important to keep this bit here because that's how I ended up making all of these little things. And see, those are actually parts. And those were the parts from this, you know, from the interior. And you could do it on the back side. Like, if you don't really care where you end up, you could do the marks on the back side and cut from there. But, you know, there are options. And I know this is not fascinating. I am trying to do this very quickly so we can move on to the more fun stuff. I kind of have some ideas about... Doing different layers. Oops. <laughs> oh, about seeing the cut like oh, okay, that makes more sense, Rhonda. Okay. Because she was saying, like, so if you did the master board kind of situation, yeah, you wouldn't want to do, you don't, you don't want to do, you don't want to draw your line until you are going to cut. And then, um, one thing about doing the master board situation is that, remember, the more layers you have, the harder it is to cut. Like, yes. in all actuality, I probably could have cut something like this on the Cricut. May have taken a little, I may have had to run it twice, but, you know. 
All right, just putting that off to the side because we may need that or whatever. See, look at that. I was just shy of making a, a coin, but we'll keep that. Might cut it up. Because see, it would even be fun to like do this. And then I have Ink the edge and grunge them. Yes. Exactly. Hi, Charmaine. Veranda. Isabel. People sneaking in here and not giving me pink hands. <laughs> no sneaking in, y'all. Take see, like, care how, of your edges, folks. How, Muy importante. How cool that is. All right. Um, all right. All right. All right. Where do we want to do next? What colors do we want to put on? I love this. I'm so loving this. <coughs> I'll, I'll check the status of the one behind me here. Okay, so let's just kind of take a little piece off of everything. So I don't have to deal with the big old sheets. Isn't this cool? Look at that. She did this one like right at the end of the stream yesterday. And this one's coming off very nicely. And this is the purple kind of version of all of that. I really like this section in here. We're going to get that. And then we'll give away a whole packet. Like he said. Alright, looky here. I'm handing you this. Oh, the purple. Purple, purple. Eggplant. Oh, goodness. And look. So, and it has kind of all the colors on it, really. If you give it a wiggle. But this is why it was getting really tricky with this particular color combo. Because it's lime green, raspberry, and purple. Well, your raspberry and your purple get kind of eaten up. And then if you put the raspberry or purple, or the, you know, raspberry near the green, it's so ready, it turns it brown. Or the purple obliterates it. So, tricky color combo. Best thing to do is kind of let some layers dry, and then you can kind of capture it. Okay, Kathy's going to go up and pack, I understand, or sort. Yeah. And, but she's listening. Okay. Isabel Oliviera. Oliviera. Uh-huh. Oliviera gave, gave pink hands. And you does here. Hello, Yuka. And Isabel, if I didn't say hello, but I think I did. And the main stencils used are the ampersands by Becky. And then the um, one of one or two of the diamond and dot. Here, you can see it more so here. Diamonds and dots. The big versions from PM Artist Studio. Yeah, and tomorrow I'm going to talk a little bit about those stencils and how to use them. The combo is tricky. It is when you're layering the colors because you can end up with Mud. poop. Very easily. The, these lend themselves to poop very quickly. They do. <laughs> See, look, there's some kind of almost, <laughs> almost went brown <laughs> with some of the business in the background. Because, see, that started out as that, like, raspberry color, but it started to kind of go more coppery. Well, copper might be your your uh, oh, one to use for metal your metallic. Mm -hmm. Well, I got it here, so yeah. Sometimes I want the piece in the middle, like my baby does. Even though it can be a blank piece of paper, she needs the thing in the middle. <laughs> Are y'all like that? <laughs> Makes us absolutely bonkers. Yes, Mariah is using carnival strength tissue paper. Yeah, so it's going to show a little, you know, it's not going to, like, go away. But that's fine. We're, we're not. I think with something like this, this is going to be something you want to do last. Unless you want to cover it up. But it's going to, you know, I don't know what advantage or disadvantage that would have. I think kind of maybe building up the green, at least for one of these, is going to be the more fun way to go with this. And remember I had talked about basically just painting with paper. Yeah, and the other thing to kind of keep in mind 
is the options that you have as far as using butter mm -hmm. in your stencil, mm -hmm. uh, using Goodness. light and fluffy in your stencil. But again, that's going to be some stuff that you probably want to do. A variant. Variant. That that's it. Because that's where we got more limited with this. Because I went ahead, and that was my next thing that I did after I had cut them up. I went ahead, just went right in on the stencil butter. Well, then it had to dry, and so that's where we were at. With that we're going to try to avoid that situation and just think about the stencil butter or texture paste being our very last thing. Yes. So yes. Absolutely. I like um, thinking about, so you can use this background stuff that's happening. So you can see that I have oh, sort yeah, of a design to follow, which might be fun. See it. So should I kind of like work that in? I, I like this one like that. I don't. See, there's less. This is a little more mucky. So let's use this on here. And for the process that Mariah just did here, I think deli paper would work just fine. Yeah. I got a little crazy there, but that's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, and just something to keep in mind, especially since we do have some new folks here. Um, now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go. You will want to <laughs> come back, leave your comments on this here video. And uh, if you are international, there is a video, but um, I've kind of already pulled the comments, so I'm a little hesitant about sending you over there and saying, "Hey, go ahead and sign up." If you want to, and if you already have, that's totally fine too. Let me know in the comments that you are international and I'll get you, because I've basically given people multiple entries. Because I'm gonna do one huge, or one or two. I, I, again, I have to count the plates and they said that it was okay to break apart those sets. So that allows me to give more away to you guys. Absolutely. Which is great. Um, so be sure to let me know if you are international. Um, any streams prior to this one, I may have already pulled the comments. Just warning y'all. So you may, if you do want to get your entries in, it needs to be like on this stream and the ones up until Sunday. Because Monday we're going to start the whole giveaway. Is that business. our March Madness? Our Mastery. Mastery. March yes. Mastery. Business. 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 Mayhem. <laughs> We're going to go with mayhem next year. Yes. Okay. See, that's already looking kind of cool. Could even come in and see layer things. Ooh, ooh. That's fun. Really want to cut that out. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so oh, Gina's here now. Did I already say that? Um, maybe. I need the little scissors, I think. March Mastery's Business. Mm hmm Look away. Here, I'll take that off screen. <clears throat> My Pokemon. There we go. I got it started. <laughs> I'm getting warmed up here. I'm going to have to remove scarf. <laughs> oh, it's all also a building in, in Boston. What's this? March Mastery's Business. Oh, really? Hmm. But see, that's kind of fun. I don't know if we're going to use that on there, but I like the idea of it having a hole in it and whatnot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
See, and this is kind of a, a fun little play on. So this had some of the reverse because this, so if y'all understand what happened here, uh, this yeah, is the pull up, was... like in between the stencil. You know, so she put down paint, put the stencil down, lifted through the orifices. And then this one was the next one, I guess, so the ghost print, technically. Yeah. With whatever schmutzy bits that was already on the plate. Yeah. And so, see, these are friends. And that's why it's kind of fun to say, oh, well, see, and look at that little dot where that belongs there. Okay, wonderful. Oh, good golly. All right, what are people saying? I see chat moving. Uh, oh, they're talking about all the different stores. Oh. <laughs> now, do we get really bold and put in the purple yet? Or try to come in a little lighter? Well, that's totally up to you. I, I don't find a, a a valid design reason there. Okay. So more than just looking at the piece as a whole, I'm looking at it more as parts at this point. I love that. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> okay. Eddie says it looks great so far. Thanks, Eddie. And, and they stamp, time stamp the orifices. Wonderful. <laughs> kind of trimming as I go. This is where, like, whole, doing the whole master board thing does save you time. But I think this is kind of better for stream purposes, if that makes more sense. I think it is definitely more entertaining, if that's what you're going yes. for. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and I think that, you know, when, when you're doing something live, uh, being yeah, entertaining I think is... the entertainment value is, should certainly be part of the cons overall consideration. Because I'm not going to watch some of this stuff. Okay, <laughs> what what is... Oh, uh, see... Yuta says, see Kat's suggestion. Okay. If you're cutting with a maker, you can use the perforation blade to pre-cut the master board. That way you build, you can build the board, flip it, and use the lines. Oh. Well, that's cool. Did you understand all that, Mariah? Uh, kind of. Y'all have to understand the that. The perforation blade. Do you know about that blade? I do not necessarily, but I think it's a... It's a setting, not like. Does it happen with the? Well, she seems to say it's a. She called a perforation blade mm -hmm. to pre-cut the master board. So then you can just go ahead and glue on the other side, and you can see your little. Um, oh. oh, it's a blade. Okay. We did not know about that. Well, well, I I did. God knows. I mean, as exciting as I do find that. Please keep in mind that most of the time our machines are being utilized for yeah. <laughs> cutting y'all's orders. Yeah, we, we don't really have access to that machine. And then I just know what would happen is I would forget that that blade's on there. <laughs> we would have some. It, it's really bad when I do something and I change the settings and then we forget. So... But I do think that's very cool. All right, do you guys think that I I feel like we have all the colors on there? So we certainly have hit the color combo prompt business. I need to sort of let this dry. I have some additional things I would love to go ahead and add to it. I really want one of those pieces. Yeah, okay. So 
this is what I did on the other one is that I just kind of kept these parts and didn't even really mind that you could still see like the line on it and everything and so I think what would be cool is we just follow that because there's going to be nice repetition if you do just follow the same basic lines that are given in Becky's stencil. Oh, good gosh. We had a great Joann's in Anchorage. Okay, that's cool. Okay, <clears throat> this and this need to go back in the water before things get out of hand. See, I like that I can stop it right even though see this is where I think it's fun to play with what's flat and then what's kind of the next layer up so bumping that into there is a nice visual play well I think it is but I think that you need to wait to put that down why you already glued it down no I haven't because it's the same color you need something under it to have a little contrast yeah I was working on that thank you okay one step at a time there Captain all right why is my chat not moving? Well, because you probably scrolled it and then you gotta oh, scroll it back down for sorry. it. Sorry. All right, those were your markers or even colored pencils. That's what I ended up using on the other ones, a lot for quite a few of those. Once they were down, so even if you have forgotten this step of making sure that you have some differentiation, is that a word? what my brain said outlining oh what's that? Well, Robin says um, my Fiskars has a wavy blade and a perforating blade it's for your cutter not the Cricut mmm I wish that kind of came so what I could do is build it up because I want it to go off. Well, just to give you a little, um, uh, they're talking about fabric stores. Uh -huh. If you want to know of a very unusual fabric store and people come from all over. I don't uh, think they it's, come from. It's not there anymore, is it? Maloof's? Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. Really? I'm pretty sure it is. I thought they closed down. Oh. Well, I won't say anything then. <laughs> but Maloof's in Friona, Texas. Yeah, it used to be like known. Yeah, all over. Because they had fabrics that you couldn't get anywhere else. Uh, some of them were, were vintage. Like my couch downstairs. Which is, how long has that been covered? Um... So that was Nathan's old couch when we moved here to Dallas. And it was when he lived in Louisville, I think. Right. So then that would have been 90, 97 or 98. <laughs> and then we, uh, my best friend's mom brought it back to Friona. So it was here in Dallas. And, then and we it, left it on, on the porch of, of the upholstery place. <laughs> with a pinned on note that says, call me when you see this. That's we'll free. talk about That's free we'll talk about fabrics. Uh -huh. I love those people. They were wonderful. They they also did my leopard chair. I think they then thought they, you were a little weird, but they did, but I think that they found me interesting because You you brought them interesting things. Yes. It wasn't just uh Yeah. Plaids and Yeah. <laughs> to match the carpet uh-huh and they were quite reasonable uh, they absolutely were and they were also really really good because the last thing that I had recovered was that ottoman and I had that done over in Clovis New Mexico and they were crap they weren't they yeah. were not good upholsters Okay, somebody named Bucket is here. Oh, that's Cheryl. 
Oh, that's Cheryl? Uh-huh. The whole bucket. That's Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, yeah. Marcia said they used to have a store called Rags to Riches that had bolt ends of de designer fabrics, but it closed. Well, one of the things about Dallas is there <laughs> are some of like because there's whole different there's like a couple of different design districts within the dallas area one of which is actually in carrollton or kind of carrollton it's really kind of there on the edge of it but remember because we would be able to go to those different fabric stores oh yes and we got that really cool gray fabric and so there are some places that are reasonable <laughs> But then trying to get something actually upholstered here in Dallas is crazy expensive. Yeah, there aren't people that want to do that sort of. Well, number one, it's hard work, and it, it's it's skilled labor. You don't just have everybody. Uh, Becky wants to know, does the carpet match the drapes? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Becky. It just depends on what your carpet looks like. <laughs> um, we have... Um, Turkish carpets here. I am using that word very loosely. Um, they're carpets that I bought years ago on eBay. Oh, you were just giving Becky a... A, a dig. A, a, now you're giving her a gift. I am? <laughs> yes. Giving her a gift? Yes. Becky, I'm giving you a gift. <laughs> you, you need to Of be, entertainment. You need to be ca careful about, you know, um, Greeks bearing gifts. Remember what happened to old... Troy. <laughs> that horse situation. Yeah, that horse situation. And, yeah. <laughs> Trojans and things. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie says his floors are wood. <laughs> hey, you need a good carpet down on, I mean, a good okay. area rug. Let me tell you, this one, it's a warm one. Whoop. I, I knew it was. Yeah. I knew it was. And I think it's warming up. It was cold this morning, though. Okay. Oh, okay, we have, oh, we have hearts floating, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Oh, Margie and Margie and and Marsha are relatively close. Yeah. They're at least in the same state. Is there carpet on your wood, on your, on your wood? Well, you know, you, we should define. We have wood floors here, but we have. Oh, they're those um, manufactured wood floors. I mean, they are wood, but. Yeah. They're not like. So is this, entertain, is this entertaining to y'all? Should I move this down a little bit? I'm going to move it down a little bit. Oh, Gina says she has the same glue and scissors. Wonderful. These scissors came Beware from... Beware those horse-bearing gifts. That's right. These scissors came from Jeanette because she loves me. Oh. And they are the PM. And then I have a pair. These are just Mariah. And then these are... These are Mariah's. Also Mariah. She's, she, I allotted she's, one pair to these. She's bogarting the scissors. <laughs> because these two, I say these two because my baby and the Gigi steal them and do things with them that then make them no longer nice scissors. They turn into crap scissors. Oh. So, um, you know, there's that. Miriam and her dad upholstered together. Oh, wonderful. Oh, what is Eddie's she she he's got parquet. Oh, she shame. Mm-hmm. Okay, Hull Bucket says, are we sharing where we're from? I'm Minnesota. Ah, Minnesota. I've always wanted to go there, never have. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I have some runners. Some runners? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're, they're laughing because I said you bogart the scissors. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, I do know that song. Awesome, I got four sets on Amazon for a great price. There we go. Well, somebody sent me mine. Can't remember who sent me those. The big ones? Yeah. Anne. 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 And if you're watching, we still think about you. Oh, Cat B. Power says she's from Western Massachusetts. And then somebody from Central Oregon. Um, may I have the colored pencil? And I would like kind of the indigo-y, purpley bluish one that I was using the other day. How about violet blue? That's the one. Now, I may be rushing this a little. Because things are still sort of drying. But I want to get y'all... <coughs> Can I see the 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 darker purple one? Uh, you got it there. Right? Uh-uh. This no. is just plain violet. Yep, I think that's the one I need. Okay, and I have another yeah. Michigan, Cincinnati, Seattle. Eddie's in southern Maine at the moment. That's because he's redoing his house. Cincinnati, no, Massachusetts. Ohio. Isn't he? Alberta, Canada, Austin, Texas, British Columbia, Canada, South Coast. Oh, that means you're close to the water. Big Pine, California. Oh. Becky says, M, that coin looks great. And look, these people are just, they're seeing that they're neighbors. Oh, that's so great because, you know, you could do like a physical get-together like Darcy does. She just travels up and down the coast. <laughs> Fish traveling girl. She is. She got to see Sandy the other day and Eddie. Oh, Carver, Finland. Right. And Miriam, of course, is in Israel. Now. UK, Niceville, Florida. Oh, sunny and warm interior BC. All right, I'm going to set that off to the side. I, I want to maybe do some other things to it, but I don't really know for <gasps> Who sure. Who lives in Vancouver? Where was that? I saw that. Betsy. Betsy, oh, <laughs> Betsy, if we come back, Betsy. we will visit you. Because we wanted to go to Vancouver, but we didn't take our passports like idiots. Oh, Betty showed up. She had to get her blood sucked today. All right. Erna is from the Netherlands. Okay, so now we're going to do a square one. Something to consider. Uh, less... You don't have to consider this as much on the circles because they're circles. But with the rectangular ones, you kind of want to know what's the top and bottom and what feels right because, you know, as you build it up, you want to know. Now, sometimes you can just, you know, go at it and figure it out. But once you put the back on it, then that does indicate, for the most part, we have some that, you know, have gone different directions. I can, you know, show you backs of ones that... <laughs> oh, Cat B Powers found the pink hand. Awesome. Oh, they have a freeze warning in North Carolina. But just some things to consider and, and, and you know, be mindful of as you are building up your ATCs. Grand Rapids. Kind of like that. Oh, I know, the poor apple far farmers, because those late freezes get those delicate little blossoms unless they've got some way to protect them. Smudge pots and all that sort of thing. Smudge pots, she says. Like that. <sighs> Weird weather. I mean, we had one day where it was almost 90. Yeah, and then, you know. And then we go back to... It's 46 today, <laughs> or it was this morning. You just says until you put the back on upside down. That's right. <laughs> then it indicates which way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do when I'm gluing down things. I have to. Oh, she, she, I, she finds just, interesting ways to really screw it up. <laughs> I think one of the reasons that I, I'm a I'm a problem solver is because <laughs> she creates I'm a lot. Of, retarded. She creates a lot of problems. I create the problems. And she uses that word in, in its truest form like she and, really is like 
she there's something in her brain. I, it doesn't work like other people's brains. I don't know that it's it's more. About, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I got dropped on my head at some point, and that part of my brain got yeah a little. <clears throat> well, okay, and Susan is loving your tips, Mariah. Thank you. I, I hope so. Some of it seems kind of. I, I don't. Some of y'all know this, and I, and I get it, but then maybe some of y'all don't. So, it, it's... Yeah, those of you who already know just can go out and smoke and drink. And, or just carry on with the fun conversation in the chat. <laughs> yeah, that too. We we appreciate it. I'm, I'm just looking at my, my tags, and I'm really just itching to do something here. And I'm, so, make this conversation really interesting, okay? Because otherwise, I'm going to get lost, and I'm not going to read it anymore. <laughs> entertain me, folks. Entertain me. God. All right, let's talk about something besides temperature now. What's the closest big town to Mint Hill? I do not know that. Gina had a box of 90 ATCs from many years ago. Oh. I make them when I cut down my papers. Oh, oh so that's a great idea. But we, yeah, I think, I, I haven't counted ours. Yeah, I, I mean, completed. <laughs> Eddie says no smoking in the chat. Yeah, you, you can't smoke in the nerd. Here, these are all. You have to go outside. See, now, I have another box just like that. Yeah, there's keepers back here. See, still need work, I think. Anything behind this. Oh, it's done, but it needs a back. Which, some of that I don't agree with on the whole being done. And then Norse will she if she goes through this. And then. These, these are help for binder little pieces. <laughs> I am neurodivergent. Thank you. And I've had to be because um, look at that. That's I can't fun. follow. I can't follow patterns. I can't remember what to do. I can't remember what to do. I, I gave up totally on crocheting because my sister Margaret is like she's she can do it and, and just do beautiful things I mean she just makes up leaves and all kinds of things and does them flowers and leaves I can't do that I just I, I, I just can't can't figure out how to do it so I just have to go along and I just do whatever I want to do and it makes it interesting if it's not interesting and challenging I, I don't really want to do it Okay, so it says, do a lot of ephemera and save it. It will be vintage for your grandsons or daughters. What are we drinking or smoking? I have a jack a jacket for both. <laughs> well, we like, we, we like to do them at the same time. And uh, that's what I used to say. And I even used to say it in my classroom when I had to step out for a moment and talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't say this in front of the principal, but... So did y'all just carry on drinking smoke while I'm gone? Oh, they would just think it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. A new day, a new way every day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that is certainly... I know. found something in the box that I wanted to mess with. Did I give you permission to do that? I don't know. It felt like it was at the beginning of the box, and you haven't taken it away from me, so... Well, I can't reach across there and do that. My arm's not that long. And I'm blocked in over here. But I'm doing good things, so you just calm down. Okay, she's doing good things. So we'll that we'll see. Barbara says she crochets every day. And Sarah wants to know about your drinking jacket, Gerald. Mm -hmm. I used to have a drinking jacket that I got at the Goodwill, and it was satin and it had velvet piping. Where did that go? Well, it was back in my thin days, so it wouldn't matter anyway. I don't well, know. Hey, I plan I've on, moved so many times. That I plan on being thin soon. Ish. Leah <laughs> <laughs> says I'm accidentally watching an older video thinking I was watching the live. Glad I figured it out. Bless your heart, I do that kind of thing all the time. Okay. So. I just thought that would look cool, and I think it does. Oh, she's going to steal a card from her son who collects game cards. 
I see that's got some texture on it. It does. You gotta be careful about that. It'll hurt your you fingers. Got, yeah, and you gotta work it down in there. Yeah. Give us some little peeks into next week's antics. Oh, we can talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do uh, oh, here, watercolor. Me... Hold on. So the schedule of it, which I think I've posted, but just so y'all know. Um, okay, let's see. March, Mixed Media Mastery. So on Monday, technique is for creating, creating actual texture. You know, like this. This is actual texture. This, let's see here. This right here, visual texture. Because you kind of go, oh, that looks like it's something. Yeah. But not. And then so, day two, Tuesday, is visual texture and mark making. And if there's something specific that y'all want to, like, you know, see or know about, let us know. Or even during the stream. That's why we don't, you know, for live streams, about all we plan for, we have an idea of the techniques. We have set aside that that's what it's going to be about. But because it's a live stream, this is where you guys prompt just as much what goes on as what, you know, we do in a way. Okay, Carrie's here. He had to work a night shift. So he's just now joining. Us. All right. So I have, um, here's where we're at. We didn't do a full on like master board like Not we did half, last time. Half one. Yeah, because we wanted to get more done on cameras. And people wanted to see both the coins. And so those are the coins that are cut out. Those are the ATCs that I have cut out. And then this one's hiding. This is, you know, about halfway done. But see some even of the parts that were from in between where we cut out the circles. Created that. Added a little pencil work in there. This is layered up even though it doesn't look like it's a ton of layers because it's all tissue. But these were glued on from all the different pieces that, or papers that P had made. Is that a nice little review? Oh, it's lovely, Mariah. Thank and then this you. this one is just a rando one from the crazy box that we have of many, many unfinished. Yeah, when I get tired of doing something, I just shove them in there. <laughs> and then it's like, I need an ATC. <laughs> oh, hello, Tutu. I think your stuff got sent. It did. Uh, I do need to send cherries. Uh, you need to get me a stack of scrap papers for her. Oh, I'm going to okay. let this dry and then see kind of where we're at with how much of this is still going to show. I would like you to kind of witness what's happening here. This is one of the tricky things about using this black chipboard or black paper of any sort, really. The dye from inside of the paper wicks up it leaches out of the paper because the matte medium for whatever reason re, you know activates it and it will come up it's usually <coughs> this kind of magenta color but different papers have different bases so sometimes it's a little different but this black chipboard which is really cool stuff if it is not treated, we'll continue to do that through any anything that you put on it. Um, Posca markers or anything. Like you write on this with a white Posca, it's going to end up looking pink. So you want to seal it. And the funny thing is, is as you were sealing it, even with the like clear texture gesso, that may have it a... wicks up into it and it, will be really does. pinky. Oh. That may have been sealed already with something. Mm -mm. Look, if you look into the, it, it, it in the it hasn't showed up there yet, right? Mariah. In the places where the paint, you may need to go live. You, you've probably you might even be, um, you know, on a lag, like uh, it it does lag after a while. Go live, live. It says live. 
Well, <laughs> yes, but a lag builds up. Oh, there we go. You have to put your cursor up there so you can see the little word live. Yes, and then you click that live and you will go. Oh, look at that. As live as you can be. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So, yeah. Okay, hello, Carver. But what I may end up doing is just coming back maybe with some different paints or something um, to, to fill some of that in. But I, I just think this looks kind of cool. Like it just sort of melted on there or whatever. Anyway, that's fun. What should we do next? That wasn't what I had in mind for that particular. It's been in there like that for, I bet, two years. You, well, that isn't actually, it may have. It, let's go three. I know, but it, it was three. it was mine to do with, and you just mm. took it over. No, it's not like I can't make another one. I was going to say it's 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 the black chipboard you uh, texture give you earlier. You black. Oh, this is black texture paste though. It's black texture paste over black over black, which works well, very well, and um. This stencil is in one of the volume sets, I'm pretty sure. And then it's actually in two different sets. I can't remember what it's called. Something squares, I'm pretty sure. But then um, all she did was, like, on the gel plate, pick up a little bit of, like, coppery bronzy color or something. And that's all that was done to it at this point. And then me gluing on the piece of tissue with the paint. I'd even be cool to like put that up there at the top. No. We'll let that dry though. It needs to we need to understand what's happening with that pinkiness. That pinkiness. Because more of it's even like <laughs> as it dries more and more is showing up. It does. <laughs> it do. It do. The nice thing though is like once you have it sealed you can kind of cover up the pink. You could paint it with black paint and it would be totally fine. I know I don't know if that's something you want to do, but just, you know, some heads up. Some info for you all, y'all. All right, we gotta put some, some more purple on this. Definitely. It's a little pousy wowsy. I don't know about that. What are you doing? I'm just messing around here. I'm hungry. I like that. Oh, Gina, that's one of the things I'm going to do is watercolor. Oh, yeah, sorry. So back to the schedule because I, I sort of squirreled on that. Um, watercolor, day one is on Wednesday. Watercolor, day two on Thursday. Uh, Mariah's Day to Shine is on Friday. Saturday will be collage day number one. Gather up the pieces. And then uh, Sunday, another kind of collage day, probably to finish off whatever it is that we are collaging with whatever ends up being produced. So that's the thought. It could change. <laughs> the only thing you can count on is that we will be streaming. <laughs> Otherwise... The schedule is just a suggestion. And I always like to put a straight edge on a round and a round on a straight. Just to break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a... That, that's a rule of thumb. A rule of thumb from P. I don't know if I want to bring that all the way down. Okay, Gerald wants to know what we're going to be watercoloring. Well, um, some different things, Gerald. Um, what I thought, because Mariah, you know, remember when we did watercolor before and I did the rocks and it took like forever? Forever. Well, we don't have the luxury of that kind of time. Of course, I could start something like that. I told her that if she could, but again, here, I mean, we're, we're running out of time. Uh, I'm going to do smaller venues. Yeah, that's the other key. 
Um, I'm thinking of, of maybe using watercolors, a couple of techniques that uh, some people that I've watched doing watercolor, you know, like real legit watercolorers. <laughs> I'm not one of those. I'm a mixed media watercolor. I don't worry about whether it works or not because I know I've got plenty of tools in my box to fix it if it right. doesn't. <laughs> Namely, white gesso. Um, the thing is, I want... I want to do some that are sort of tag size because I think that that's something that's doable for right all of you, and I would like maybe just do it ATC size and just make them into ATCs. And there you go. But I want to do some that show are really I want to really focus on overlaying colors and transparency because that's really what I think watercolor is all about. Yeah. And I have this little plan to do that and I, I think it's going to be really fun. I, I anticipate it to be so. And thank you, Carol. Yes. I probably will do some brushos or have some brushos already done before I go into the wood because they take a while to dry. They do. Okay. If y'all want to see something here or you have questions, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm just kind of carrying on as I did with the rest of them. I don't feel like I have to, you know, beat y'all over the head with what I'm doing. <laughs> we can talk more about what's happening next week. Yeah, I'll try to find the rocks and we'll talk a little bit about them. But I'm not, I'm not I, I don't anticipate just doing, I could do just an ATC rock. Yeah. Here, here's Mariah's color pencil technique. She's so rude. <laughs> she's, she's not into blend, blending and... and uh, well, that ain't going to happen right now anyway, because number one, I'm over paint. I don't even have, you know, this has not been text, well, and you, texture gessoed for your, you know, okay. next layer. If you do the texture gesso, remember, it's going to dull out your metallics. Yeah. Reminder. So, just shish it over there about my what I'm doing. Okay, I'm, I'm just exploring things. Trying to read the chat and not. Yeah, don't pay too much mind about what I'm doing. I love that. And look, you can even see the thing coming through there. So there's a lot of. I do love that color. There's more depth combo. happening there than you realize. And Cat B Power says, Carrie Girl, thank you for suggesting these ladies in this group. My <laughs> smile muscle, muscles have to have this kind of workout in a long time. Well, we always, you know, vacillate on, well, should we be educational? Out here. Or comedy. Or comedy. And as I said the other day, I really, they need to add tragedy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we do have those. But they're always interesting. And by golly, you know, I haven't put anything in the trash. It, I, I've brought it back. And why are you? Right? Yeah. Have I had any? Oh, well, I... My, my big, and it's not a failure, it's just a... I don't know why you're hollering. I think your ear closed I up am. again. I am. It comes and goes. It's hollered at me. Um, <laughs> by golly, I want to make sure these people hear me. <laughs> hear um, ye, hear ye. The Queen P has some stuff to say. She might be yelling. <laughs> I do have, I do Don't have. take it personal. She just can't hear. <laughs> Can I please get this out while it's yes. still the yep. front of my brain? Get it out. <laughs> we, we still have Archipenko over there. Gold Archipenko. Oh, oh my over. God. I have that. Okay, tell your thing, and i got to tell something about that. Archipenko over there on the shelf, you know, glaring at me as I go to the bathroom every day. <laughs> Judging her. Judging me. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, other than that, I think that I... <laughs> Oh, yes, the crazy watercolor birds. Oh, yes, that's a great idea, Carrie. I, I love doing those. You know I love doing those watercolor birds. I, I wish I could find the rest of them so we can kind of refer back. Oh, good God. No, those were fun. All right, so here, this is funny. So when um, Nathan and Liz were over the other day and she had walked through here, which I was horrified that she was even, you know, 
up and around here. I'm sure she went home and took a Clorox shower. Probably. But uh, she uh, she saw Archipenko over there. She goes, oh, what's this? <laughs> so, well, that's Archie. <laughs> He's incomplete. And then, she, cause, and then I could see that her eyes sort of, because the trinkets, the big trinket bucket is right next to Archie. And she kind of like looked at those. And I said, oh, actually, those are what's supposed to go on Archie, but we haven't, you know, committed. See, isn't that cute? Look, see, I busted those up and goo god those on there. Hey, you know, I, I really, I, I, I got to hand it to Elizabeth because she's, the, she does, um, she's, what, what do you call her job? I know it's, it has something to do with banking. It, yeah, that's really about all I know, too. It's kind of banking, but it's like. Uh, pers personal. I don't know. But she she speaks Spanish fluently, so she's an asset wherever she goes. Because yeah, um, we're in Texas for God's sake. And she's a fabulous mother. She feeds her children on a regular basis, and they all have <laughs> clean and nice clothing. You know, and uh, these are not things that we necessarily offer. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were, and there's know, more of us. <laughs> and, and when, when Nathan gets all judgy and everything on, on that, I, I just remind him that our child has never taken antibiotics. Knock on wood. And I, I, she's been raised in in dirt. <laughs> Not only does she play in dirt, but the dogs bring dirt in. I mean, you know, she's got a chance to make herself a really healthy immune system. Yeah. And I think that's important. I can't quite get the right curve on this. Sorry, y'all. That's what I'm doing. Well, I'm glad you told us that. Yeah, because I knew you were worried. I was. Not really. Uh, Maria's uh, laughing with tears in her eyes on your pen pencil technique. She loves what you're doing, and she loves the colors. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. That's really well, sweet. Well, these, the, these are the... Um, <laughs> Carrie and Paula... You know how they do the color combo. So this is lime green, raspberry, and purple. This is my color combo video. Yeah, it's a live color combo. Yeah, and tomorrow... And Susan loves it. Tomorrow I may do your leaf thing on camera. And maybe okay. I just leave the camera here. We start here. I do that, and then you Pass do, it over. And then you do your thing. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. Because I'd rather, like, just continue with this and this whole video be about making ATCs that are in this color combo. Oh, Cat B says, can we have a studio tour? No. Yes. No, you can't. Not not a new one. We have one. We have one. Yes. So just, uh, 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 Eddie, if you would be so Eddie kind. already left. Oh, he left? Well, they're putting in new internet, and he had to shut his down. Okay. Um, do we still have Darcy? I haven't are seen any Darcy our today. Here? Okay, hold on. Sorry to say. Mo's here. Okay, Mo's here. I didn't see Mo. She's hiding. Oh, there she's, she is. She's lurking. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I found <There>. you. <laughs> Studio tour video. Mo, we got to count on you because Eddie had, they, they're putting in new, and so they had to shut him down. Okay. And I think Darcy's, she's doing things. Yes, that's, that is what our studio looked like before we actually started doing chill. No, 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 no. It wasn't that long ago. We, But we cleaned everything up. It was kind of the one round where we did the other setup and you added those. And so we had to kind of clean things up. And that's when we decided we'd go ahead and do a studio tour. Oh, yeah, where we walked around, where Brad walked around. Yeah, it was live. Yeah. Okay, look at that. I finally got that curve right. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. I was just, I was stressing about that. I know you were. And again, apologies for my sniffles. I really don't. Oh, there's Darcy. Okay, good. She is. She, she's usually she's like around. doing. She's looking for her long stapler. Oh my god! And she says she hopes she didn't get rid of it. Well, I don't Ooh. know why you would even get rid of something. Well, she like may that. have accidentally. Oh. Like it ended up in a box, and you didn't realize it. And you know, cause she's done a lot of purging of. Well, things. that's what happens when you do that kind of thing. I know I'm telling gonna... you, just makes me angry. Yeah, I, we can hear it in your voice. Can you hear it in my voice? Yeah. I hear it. I hear it in my. Hey, I, I feel wanted, it in my soul. What happened to my punchy thing? 
not 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 the edge edge nipper. I'm not talking about mm -hmm. the edge nipper. I'm talking about the, the leather punch. Yeah, where is it? Downstairs. I got it. Did you ask it's me about mine. that? It's mine. It belongs in a box right up there. Uh -huh. I looked for it last night, but it's really a good thing that I couldn't find it. How late were you I up last night, by the way? Do you I know? don't know that that's relevant information. I just, yeah. I'm just curious if you know when you went to bed. Because <laughs> I know when I woke up once and I heard you still up here. I don't know what time it was. Around two ish. Okay, yeah, ish, because it was about one, almost two. Yeah, and I, I was try, like, I try not, I try not really? to flush the toilet after you know. I appreciate that. It's right above my midnight. Yeah, because it's right above her head. And she doesn't. Uh, why don't you use the other one? Because this is closer. <laughs> I mean, I have to walk an extra <laughs> half a room to make it to the other one. And sometimes that's just... And, and sometimes that's important. I, a little Isabella. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, just, I don't really know that I have to pee till I stand up. And then I'm like, oh, I better get there quick. Did y'all want to know about that? Yeah. Sure. Uh, all right. What is she making something? Okay, there we go. Good golly. I'm sorry. That was sort of painful. But... This is Oh, I'm making some after spring break with my students, and I need some examples. Of what? I don't know. Who? I lost it. The Master Fixer Queen of Leaves has oh, spoken. Oh, Yuta. Is that who? Or, or Carol was talking to Yuta about Veranda. that. Veranda. I don't know what they're talking. I missed out because I was talking to you. I'll have to backtrack here. Okay. Okay. Oh, a little this and that. Okay. I'm using the cutest new tiny paintbrush that came with my Daler Rowney Travel Watercolor. Oh, I know. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> I will come back and Sheen, put, you, can you use know. a thin layer of gel medium over the coloring. Yes, you can. Even if you have gone over it with the matte texture, clear texture, just so you can bring it back with Shiny stuff. Bring it back. See, look. Okay, Gina's doing something, and I missed out on what Gina was doing. Oh, okay, she's doing watercolors, little watercolors. Um, see, she. I may have in a rage purge. See, you shouldn't do things like that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be angry later. Rage once and rage again. All right. Well, that's just a little prep work to get the line there that will be there. I, I will darken that. It will be much more impressive than what you see there. But I'm dealing with a lot of gooey, gooeyness that's happening there. And I... See, this is hard to tell, but I, I do believe that this is, you know, up. Like, it goes this way. Yes. And I don't know that I'm loving the color of the raspberry-ness of this. I, I mean, it, it is repeated. It's just it's very... I just think you need to take it up higher up into the card. Oh, it. I need more dots in you there? You need more dots, I think. Well, now that I have that, that makes more sense. See? Maybe offset them a little bit like you just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, ATCs. That's what they're making. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, After spring break. Well, we just had our spring break last week. We did. It was really, it was wonderful because we <laughs> sent our baby off to gymnastics camp. Well, they didn't gymnastics, but it, it was at the gymnastics place. Yeah, but they had all the, they had equipment there and they could do Yeah, it. they get to mess around, but they're not learning gymnastics. No. <laughs> they're socializing and. Catching colds that they then give to their Yeah, parents. sharing germs. And yeah. <laughs> that sort of thing. Spreading the love. <laughs> 
Yeah, are you going to bring any of in of that Pepto pink that I made? Well, that's not part of the color. It's combo. not really part of the color color. So I was trying to stick to that, but I really do love that stuff. We could, um, I, I do feel like we have covered, and we have 30 minutes. We could work on a different card in a different color scheme. And then, you know, as I can, I will make more of these. And FYI, I have been sending some of these cards. That's why I don't have all of them here is because I've been sending them out in some of y'all's orders. You know, those of you yes, that... Yes, that was why Josh was able to yeah. join us on Thursday. Yeah. Yes. And I don't know when we're going to go thrifting, but both of the boys expressed an interest, and I, I'm just so jazzed yeah. about that because their father is a poopy diaper head. Yeah, always has been. I mean, since he was a kid. I was not into that at all. Yeah. It, it, it was something that wasn't genetically passed. <laughs> yeah, yes, Mariah's father didn't like it either. <laughs> Made him itchy. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's in, in the, if it's, you know, nature or nurture. Maybe a little both. A little both. Okay, um, so let's try something a little different. I'm going to put all this off to the side. And then I don't think that the pink and black goes with this. But let's go, we'll flip through the cards that we have and see if something would be fun to utilize with that. How about that? Yes, that sounds fun, right? Fantastic. Yep. Oh, Sandy said she picked up a new set of Sharpie brand markers that seem to be like Posca's or 1995 bullet tip, but also available in smaller brush tips. Okay, here's... Oh, well, you'll have to let us know about that. That one even has a back on it, but I just, that thing's let me see that. so weird. Don't you mess with that one. <laughs> she loves it. I love that one. It has fabulous texture. It has so many things on it. Don't you cannot mess with that. Okay. That one might be kind of cool. Let me see well, that one. How do these have backs on them and they're not like done done? Or why aren't they in I the don't book? Know. I, I don't have I don't have emotional attachments yeah, to and that. Yeah, I'm calling that one not done. Even though it has a back. Well, I'm, I went through those and maybe moved some of them into the wrong place. Perhaps. A little thin one. This one. It was hard to cover up because it had... Ooh, that's cool. Look, that could be really cool together. See that? I don't have I don't have attachments to that. And then it's you you did some things like... So I think that's like just... That's light like and white No, white paint, I think, put through it. Or just gesso. And then you came over it with the um, dimensional stuff because it's... Oh, it's yes, yes, yes. Very yes. shiny. The squeezy stuff out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. shiny. Okay, I think those are pretty good options. It's just... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not big on the smell of Sharpies either. Um, Carrie says, I've been told that Sharpies fade over time, which is why ooh. I've avoided them. Is this true? I do not know that. They can. Oh, Gina, I wish I could go with you. $1.99 day at Goodwill. Mm, well, we have dangerous. a huge Salvation Army in Plano. Where she really wants to go. Where I really want to go. Mm, I don't like that together. I mean, y'all understand some of these. I think this isn't is <laughs> is because the back needs work. See, this is twenty twenty three. It must have been early twenty. Well, no. It, the back was put in on, put on in 2023 because you had done some final things and decided or thought that you, you know, be. thought it was done. All alcohols will fade over time. Yes, they yeah. do. But hey, I'm going to tell you what. That's not true. What are your feelings you about this? Posca, I mean, if you mod podge over those babies, they're going to be good to go. I promise you. Because I've got, I've had, I have beads that I made. Mm -hmm. When Nathan was a baby, like a newborn, He's and maybe about to even turn before 50. he was, and um, they're still very vibrant. And he's almost—he's turning fifty. He's his yes, here very quickly. This next week. Next week. I think that's cool. 
I like it too. It's almost like an infinity. If you scoot that one down a little bit, it'll be infinity. Like this? Yeah, or the other way. You like it that way? or Oh, I like it that way. I like that. Light exposure causes fading, yes. And Gina, that is a very good point. I have, I have Crayola watercolors that I, I did when I did watercolor with my elementary school children. And they faded somewhat, but the ones that were in dark places, they're still looking pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we... Like that one in Izzy's bedroom room? Yeah, and we just put up curtains or make sure that it's on a wall that's not, like, facing a window where it's going to get any direct sunlight. Whole Bucket says, this is a good one, Mariah. I like this pink swirls follow the angle of the white lines. Well, they almost have to because yeah. those lines are dimensional. Yeah. I mean, I could have brought it in there and maybe, but I'd have to stop at it. Like, it has to, th this is our thing yeah. that says there's direction here. The the pen that um, Sandy made for me, the hand pen, mm -hmm. is over 10 years old and the colors didn't change. No, they look very, very bright and vibrant. Uh, did you cover them with Mod Podge? And it also depends on your glass. Yes, you get UV. Mm -hmm. There's special UV glass. It's expensive. But all museums use that. I'm just going ahead and um, covering the rest of this card with the... It looks like eyes or sunglasses. Or a burglar mask cartoon. I'm still going with the infinity symbol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, do we need a little piece there? All right, let's get this trimmed ah. up, though. I don't think you should do that. It emphasizes the corner. You ah. just need to leave it alone. Uh-huh. Teeth! <laughs> That's a wonky card. That wasn't a straight cut. Well, imagine that. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways you can tell that it's mine. That's true. <laughs> That's her signature cut. Not straight. <laughs> oh, I love that. I think that looks really groovy. And see some of that turquoisey business is still kind of coming through now? Yeah. Mm, that's fun. Looks very painterly. Mm-hmm. Well, we said we were going to paint with paper today. Look at us. Oh, Promising piano them. keys. I like that. I don't know if those things go together. I don't know if these things... This is my work right here. I would say. That ruching. Don't you do anything to that card. That's a good one. And spatter. Well, then it needs to be glued down and called done. Well, you can do that, but you can't do anything else to it because it's a good one. It needs a, a hard back because it's flimsy. Y'all want to see how I do the back part thing? Oh, let's do it in gold. How much time we have? Oh, good. Sweet. Yes. And oh, sorry. Bumping thing. Two, two, Tammy says leave that one alone, Mariah. <laughs> leave it alone, Mariah. Leave it alone. Right. And, and Carrie's... Carrie's resisting his uh, addiction to more colors and Posca pens. Oh. I don't know. I, Mariah, that's Mariah's. I, I, I used some of them on the gel plate, but I wasn't especially impressed. Yeah, I like the pens and stuff. And Carol says, don't resist, Carrie. Really, seriously. Eat the cake. Buy the shoes. Eat the cake and buy the shoes. And Marguerite says, do a fade test on a wall, in a drawer, in a window. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. 
Oh. Okay. Sandy says, oh, good. I want to see how you back yours. Okay. I'm going to do it. Just give me two seconds here to find the right stuff. And I'm trying. She's I'm, searching around. I am. I know y'all love that so much. Because most of ours, oh, I noticed we need to do some stuff on the edges. This one, I'll just do that. I do, I edge mine with um, colored pencils. Well, I wanted gold paper, but of course I'm not finding any like right now. And I'm wondering if that's. Well, I'll tell you where the gold paper went. It's your little. My little baby. Your little sweet darling. She likes that gold paper too. I know she does. She hides it, but I. Well. <laughs> Tammy says I started backing mine because I saw Mariah do that. <laughs> We're trend setting. Well, people back theirs. I mean, all the ones that we have have like some kind of back, but we make ours extra fancy. I, I know that. We're, we're, we're a little extra fancy on that business. You need to put this one in, in our champagne book, Mariah. Which one? The one I'm working on? No, the one I'm working on. Oh, yeah, that one? That has multiple layers that you're always... It's just now getting dry, three years later. Because what it has on it is some of that... Um, oh my God, I'm over it. I'm over it. Over what? I'm trying to find the flipping gold paper. Um, we There's more than, way, more than one way to skin a cat. That's right. And go to town. Yes. Or go to town. That's right. I know some people get sad about us skinning cats. There are not any cats being skinned. No, no. It is purely a... Okay, I may need that, but let's close it up for right now. Okay. And y'all are super close now, because I, I moved in. But we need... Here's the smarter thing to do. Okay. Let's, you know, follow the steps here, peoples. Okay. Because I guarantee you this is wonky. I'm just, I'm just looking at it here. We're going <laughs> to... Follow one of these edges and then probably trim up some things. Because it does look like something she cut out, but then I, this is my work. Like, she wouldn't do this. This is definitely a PM well, artist studio. I think that was one that I actually followed your thing and did do it. It was after you had demonstrated or something. That's yeah. What I thought, well, I want to try that. I want to try. <laughs> Here, I want to see if I can do that. Here's your pencils because I'm just going to knock them about and I don't want to lose them. Okay. I'm fixing the edges on this and calling it done. Okay. I might do a little bit more uh -huh. pencil work here and define this back layer. Okay. Now, when I'm doing like just a full on, just plain Jane thing here, this um, uh, uh, PVA glue is the best stuff to do. Can you get your... Oh, maybe I can squeeze it out, though. Hold on. It's glued shut. I didn't do it. There we go. Good deal. I just need it to come out. Sharpening. And I would keep that that way, but I clipped the little nib sh too short to do that. Or actually, I think I had to clip it because it got clogged up. Here's my little spreader. This is a new spreader thing. Basically, it's just a piece of this that was left over. And see how it starts to build up and it's really nice. Well, I think the other one became irregular and you had to. Yeah, it becomes um, too much. It. Yes, it becomes too much. Oh, here I need to be. Yeah, see, not square, but almost. I'll tell you, not too shabby. Sandy uses mini archival ink pads to antique her edges. We do some of that too. All right. Now this is the super heavy chipboard. I do have this listed in our Amazon shop. Love this stuff and fairly reasonable. And let me tell you, I, I know it's dangerous as I'll get out that she has taken the thing off of here, but I'm freaking loving it. There we go. Carver says your bracelets are very beautiful, Mariah. Thank you. They're all hers, mainly. 
she's happy that I said that. <laughs> Especially that one, that mother of pearl one. I mean, there, there's some really, some beading skill that went on making that bracelet there, folks. That there bracelet. Now, I didn't, I didn't make the gold uh, dice one, but I did buy it. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just crap jewelry, but I love it. It is pretty cool. Okay, so we can either leave the back black as is, but I really don't want to do that. Um, one of the other things I was thinking about, um, I really want my gold paper, but I don't know where it's at. It's also a little tricky to use because you have to watch out for the glue. Um, when yeah. you're using any of those metallic papers, like the actual paper is metallic, uh, I mean, you get a little drop of water on it and it makes the paper look different. So it's tricky, for sure. Now, I'm thinking this is the top, right? What? Top? Uh, yes. It goes this yes, way? Yes, Okay. That's how it goes. Um, Gosh, even if I could find a piece of the pink. All right, hold on. Oh, that would be good. The, the uh, my next suggestion was, um, I, I do have this piece of pink with the that I did the butterflies, Mariah. Yeah, and I have some pinks over here. I think the pink is kind of the best, next best thing. I really wish it was the shiny pink. But oh, Raven's beak is here. Oh, hey, hold on. May have found something with a little... Gold mine of, gold mine of. Okay, but I also wanted you to look at this. Oh, well that's a little crazy. It doesn't necessarily match up, but I don't know. Here, let me see it. So I remember P did this yesterday. Yeah. I mean. Okay, Jackie's here. Hi, oh, Jackie. I like that it's paint, painty. Should we go with the dragonfly on the back? Kind of like that. Well, you have to be careful because you're going to be covering it up with your yeah, with our new information information, which we could just drop it to where the dragonfly's kind of going up and out. And I put the information across the bottom. Right, but right. This speaks as I love that little ATC. Okay. Okay. Well, let's do that. That'll be fun. If y'all have questions, let me know. Jackie just joined us. Let me just say hello to Jackie. Hello, Jackie. So I just scored it so I, I knew basically where I needed to be. And I'm only cutting these two. Edges. So we can line it up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Once again, line it up on two ends and then trim off the thing. Because if you try to cut it to size, you can never square it up. It, it never works properly. But this gets me in the right area. Okay. And then, do I have, hopefully over here, I think I still, do I have some of the backs? Yeah, they're in that box on the side. In the box? In the ATC box. Oh, but those will say 2023 probably. No, the one, that ATC box of, the box of ATCs, they're in mm -hmm. the side. I tore them up and put them there just the other day. Oh. Well, fabulous. You're not listening to I'm me. I'm not listening to you, but now I am. Okay, what are people saying? You're, I'm, you got 20 minutes to give me here, or 15. Okay, everybody's saying hello to Raven. Okay. 
Hello, Raven. I don't know if I said hello. Raven said she loves that ATC. It's very pretty. Thank you. Oh, wait. Is this... Yes. The Montmartre glue is great for bookmaking. Hey, I, I think it's... Yes. I mean, I, I don't know if it's I archival love or anything, but it gets the job done. I love this stuff. Price is right. It works. I have not had any issues with it. <coughs> Notice I did... I went ahead and just, like, left me a little edge there just to trim it up because it's just... Gerald said, good stuff. See you again tomorrow. Excellent, awesome. Gerald. Uh, Miriam is leaving us because she's going to get ready for her live stream. I would advise you all to go over there. Yeah, I think um, her, uh, is this the day that you were doing the trifecta thing with Diana? Yes, she said that. Okay. I didn't know what that meant. Okay. But yeah, they're doing the Makers Creative Club stuff. Today's trifecta. Don't miss it. Pink hands. Oh, 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 oh. So they're going to be like, I think, incorporating the color combo. Uh, three of the Maker's things. the pro Probably the collage prompt and then just the Maker's Creative Club business. Business. You know, over the rainbow hashtag. Business. I guess I could call this over the rainbow if I really wanted to push it. And say such things. And thank you, Raven. She says it's the best way to start the week. And Mo put in Miriam's channel there, you all. Okay. So, these are the backs that I pre-print. I print them out using the laser printer. Um, and you can even see that I've used bloopy loops in the background. One of the reasons that I print them out utilizing the laser printer is that it holds this, you know, the ink doesn't spread which is great. And then it adds a little more interest. Sometimes this really does fade away completely, but it does, again, add some cool layers of business. Um, best thing to do is just kind of gauge it there. Is it, I, it? I can probably even get more of these on a card versus, you know, what I've got, but, um, you know. I like to have options because I might use the whole back. It just depends on the card. Like if it's already pretty thick and I just want to kind of, I, the card is really pretty and I just don't want to do anything more to it, including, you know, messing with the background business, then that's what I do. You should send that one to Maya because that's her. Oh, we um... should, Maya. Okay. I, I, and I have Maya's address, so I will totally do that. That was her, her impression yeah. from her, her thing. Okay, so thoughts on color. I, I can match the pink, or I think what would be really pretty is just making it gold. I, yes, that's what I say. Okay. And, of course, I'll make it kind of a, you know, a multi. Like, I don't want it just being just yellow. Just one color. Yeah, it's not going to be just yellow. We'll go with we'll bring <coughs> the pink in there some, too. Bye, Kathy. All right. And just so I'm trying not getting this, you know, my paper's already messed up, but, you know, let's try to keep it somewhat nice. Well, the nice thing about it is it's that kitchen towel you can use it to dab onto, too. Yeah. Okay. So, probably went a little crazy with that business, but that's okay, too. There's that. You want a baby wipe? Oh, got it. Okay. There you go. Subscribe to Miriam and go over there. They do some cool stuff. And I don't always make it over there because I'm starving to death because I haven't had, I, I didn't get up until 9.30 this morning. Uh -huh. So I, I didn't have time to, um, and Mariah gets angry with me when I, I, I crunch things over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Did y'all see that? 
I don't know that I agree with that, but well, it's already a done deal. It is. I'm adding. I don't. I don't have have to agree with everything Mariah does, and she doesn't have to agree with everything <laughs> I do. We've come to an ag agreeing <laughs> agreement on that. That's where the agreement happens. That's where it happens. She doesn't love everything I do either. I know that's right. Oh my gosh, where is that quote? I thought that was brilliant. I got it. Okay. Did I write that down? All right, one of the things that I like to do is I should put the glue on here so that way I'm not missing any. Which here, it's kind of nice because it is the acrylic paint. So it will kind of wipe up off of there. So not as big of a deal. Yeah, because but, it's slick paint. But if it's nicer, like just matte paper and trying to kind of keep it that way, this is the better way to do it. Put it on the little backer piece. Get it spread out. And again, I know this sounds like some very basic stuff, but some of y'all may not know this or, you know, thought about it or really give it a duty. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you though. And then I like to sort of, since this does have a straight line, I just kind of gauge that. And then I will write in the date once it oh, all dries. Oh, Order Paper Crafts is here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Mimi. Usually oh, best to let that dry, because if your scissors aren't nice and lovely and clean and whatever, know, it could rip it. whole bucket is having to skip that, but she's sad, but she's enjoy watching the projects. Okay. We're sorry that you're sad. Well, I, I don't know why you can't do it, but I'm assuming you have a very good reason. For what? Well, just for not doing it. Not doing what? I don't understand. Uh, excited about the colors. This oh. month's challenge. Oh. Um, I don't know that. Yeah. Okay, this is the better one. That matches better. Uh, these chalk paints, they do uh, keep moving. Uh, they, unless you seal them in completely. But for me, it's not a big deal one way or the other. But this is how I turn the black chipboard into something that matches a little more. These, uh, it takes the chalk paint pretty decently. It will soak in there and it's not going to be super bright pink, but I like it. Gina says, my eyes are happy pink and orange looks pretty. Thank you. But see now you're not seeing any of the white edge and it blends it all together more cohesively. And I like these big fat markers for this. I don't know if I have these in the shop, but you can get these um, through Amazon too, because that's where I got them. But they're by that Chocola, which I have a sneaking suspicion that Funsels and Chocola are all sort of the same company or connected somehow. I, it's I, a suspicion. I don't know this to be a fact. I think so. But they don't say so. No, they don't. So I don't know if they want it to be a secret. <laughs> so, you know, we're spreading rumors. Uh, and you can keep layering this stuff and it really will like stay pink pink. <clears throat> oh, I need to go over here. And if you do want to getting floaty flowers for uh, floaty flowers floaty hearts <laughs> floaty flowers floaty all right look at that so here's let me just kind of lay it out and then by that time then i'll do the you know screenshot thing i don't know oh that goes to this um let's pull out but yeah i just highly recommend 
having your things already done. And even if you just have an inkjet, just don't get too crazy with the sprays. And sometimes it even looks really cool, but it will bleed out. But here's another quick little tip. If you go ahead and print them out with your inkjet, now depending on your inkjet, and I'm sure they're all different, and of course, uh, depending on if you buy the brand name ink versus the other inks, um, all of those things probably play a factor. But the longer you let that inkjet dry, like if you printed it out at the beginning of the week and then let it dry throughout the week, it bleeds less. Not that it won't bleed at all, but it bleeds less the longer you let it sit because it dries up into the paper better and it sets. Um, the other thing that you could even do is probably put a layer of Mod Podge or, uh, or Mod Podge on it or something like that and it will probably seal it in a little bit better too. So just some thoughts and ideas regarding making some, you know, fun backs with your, you know, stuff. Um, or you just write it on there every time. But you see we have quite the Amount. Harry wants to know if his package arrived. Has not. Not that I, I, and I haven't even seen it in the list of things that are supposed to be delivered here lately. So. And Erna says it's beautiful. I'm worried. Tutu has to go. We'll see you later. So these. Gina's boiling eggs and dyeing them. Oh. Um. Aunt Liz is gonna do that with Izzy. Oh, thank God. I know. I'm just like, thank you. And she's so happy because her boys are teenagers. And I'm just like, dude, I, I, that just is not where I, I don't enjoy it. It stresses me out. And Liz just loves it. <laughs> I'm like, sounds good. I think, you know what it is partially is that you and I have higher expectations. Like we, it's like, if we're going to do this egg thing, then, you know, like what we want and what we want to do she doesn't do and I think Liz is just kind of like you know let's just dye some eggs we're gonna you know we, we, we set the bar higher than we probably should is what I'm saying <laughs> that's what I'm saying um, I'm pretty proud of these and look at that they even look like they're all little friends but they're so different yes they are proud proud of that all right um they're members of the same family they are especially now that they've got the and and ampersand on them. Okay. Can I hold these Inners up? and outers. If you like that. Jennifer mm -hmm. says they look great, Mariah. Thank oh, you. Oh, and Robin says some inkjet printers use black pigment versus black ink, and the pigment doesn't bleed hardly at all. There you That's go. That's what she learned on YouTube. There you go. I Thank kind you, of, Robin. Uh, yeah, I, I knew some of that. I don't know which inks do that or not. I think like the Canon, um, those Prima inks or something like that are like that. Um, so yeah. Okay, there's Jasper, J. Susan P. Hey, Hello. Jasper. Pink right. hands. Going to the top screen here. Oh, good golly. Let's not let everybody see all that business. Gina says she's a grown up <laughs> five year old when it comes to making art. <laughs> hey, by golly, as long as you're having fun, I, I'm, I'm for it. ATCs. There's the screenshots. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. We'll be back here tomorrow. I'm going to help P do some um, more swirly glue business. And then she's off to finishing up those tags. I don't know if the book's going to be. I mean. I'm, I'm going to use those. I'm going to show you some different ways to use those stencils. That, okay. One of which Mariah used today with the little dots. Awesome. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Come back and leave those comments. Bye.